Yeah, both equations. This is page 338, parallel and per perpendicular lines. We're going to do a question from the homework assignment on page 340. It's number 11. And the question asks you to determine whether these, the graphs of these equations are parallel or not. So you're given two equations, 8x minus 4y equals 16, and 5y minus 10x equals 3. You need to find out whether those two equations tell, give you graphs that are parallel or not. Now, earlier on, we had someone say, well, how do you find out? You just graph them. You know, that's one way to do it. You can always just graph those using the methods you know. Put, make a t-chart or else solve y equals mx plus b. Whichever way you want to do it, you can graph those and s just look at them and you can see if they're parallel or not. What do parallel lines look like? Got a little diagram over here. Two parallel lines have the same slope. It's hard to read in red, but I'll read it out. Two parallel lines have the same slope. This is a graph. These two lines are running off into space. They go on forever and ever, and they never touch because the distance between this part and this part is the same as the distance between this part of the line and that part of the line. They're the same distance between them. They're parallel, and they have... Now, here's the key important thing you need to know. They have the same slope. The same slope on this line, the same slope on that line. If you were sliding down that, if it was a water slide, you're sliding down, you're going to go the same speed as the person on this one as long as you're the same way. This is the same slope, so there's no difference. All right, so we'll go back to the equation at hand, our question at hand. 8x minus 4y equals 16 and 5y minus 10x equals 3. So what do we do to find the slope given equations? Go ahead, and let's get us started here. Um, Chiara, what's our first step? 8x minus 4y equals 16, what do we do? Jessica? Okay, so what you do is you subtract uh, 8x. Good, subtract 8x. So rewrite 8x minus 4y. Good, 8x minus 4y equals 16. Yeah. Now subtract 8x on both sides. And why do you want to get rid of 8x? Because we're solving for y, so we want to take the 8x onto the other side. And we get negative 4y equals 16. Equals negative 8x plus 16. Good. Good job. Now we're almost done, but we still have a negative 4 in front of the y. What do we have to do to get rid of the negative 4? Then you divide by negative 4. You divide by negative 4. That's right. So you divide each of those by negative 4. The negative 4 divided by negative 4 is going to cancel and become 1, so you'll just have y. Yeah. That means y equals? Negative 2 plus negative 4. And it's going to be, two. It's going to be positive 2x. Two. 2x two two plus two. negative 4. Plus huh? negative 4. Just 2x yeah. minus 4. Just 2x minus 4. You're going to have y equals 2x minus 4. And your slope in that case is now you rewrite y equals mx plus b. Because negative 8 over divided by negative 4 is 2. So y equals mx plus b, and that means we can tell what m is, right? m is equal to 2. Remember I said last time that you just line it up? y equals mx plus b, it's lined right up underneath y equals 2x minus 4. You can't go wrong if you line them up properly. You can see that m is equal to 2. So just write yeah. m equals 2. And then you do the same with 5y minus that's right. You do the same thing with 5y minus 10x equals 3. Can we fit it in here, Olivia? We can try real hard to fit it in here. 5y minus 10x, well, use black because it's the best. And um, 5y minus 10x equals 3. We'll do it there. Omave missed that comment. I thought he'd get it. First thing you do? 5y minus 10x equals 3. First, the first thing you do. Let's hear from someone else. But Kiara, we were waiting to hear from you. It's your chance. We're looking for y. We're trying to solve y. What do we get? We're solving for y. What's the first thing we do? Kara? Add 10x on both sides. Good. Add 10x on both sides. And that's 5y equals 10x plus 3. 5y equals 10x plus 3. And we're almost there. Kara, you want to finish this one off? We want to make it look like y equals mx plus b. Or you want to hand the baton off to Danielle? Oh, she handed the baton off. So, divide by five on both sides. That's right. So you divide by five. Each one of those gets divided by five. And you get y equals 2x plus 3 fifths. Are we afraid of fractions? No. No. Yes. I am. 
I'm I'm a super fractionator. I'm a super fractional. I'm a super fractionalizer. Let's take XBL with this. Okay. Whatever. What? So y equals what? mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. So what's the series? What? M equals what? What's our slope here, Don? Or Koi? What's our slope here? M equals? M equals 2. Now, are these lines parallel or not? Omave. Without having to graph it, we have the same slope, right? So are they parallel? Yes, they are. Now, put a big circle around this. We'll just do this. Just put same slope, it means they are parallel. Put same slope, so they're parallel. Same slope, same slope, they are parallel, so, so they are parallel. Or just put they're parallel. 